Adam Copeland, I am so excited to have you here in AEW. You're such a huge asset to everything that we're doing here. When you made your debut at Wrestle Dream, I mean, everybody went nuts. Everybody in the back went crazy. I mean, I feel like I still have goosebumps from that night. But so much has changed from then until now. Can you walk me through a little bit of what's gone on with you? Things have not been going smoothly. No, no, they haven't <laughs> no. Um, at all. And. and uh, I'm still confused, to be perfectly honest. I don't really understand what's happened because the whole idea in coming here was to end my career with Christian Cage, mm -hmm. to team with Christian Cage. And he sounded on board with that until it got closer, until it got real. Mm. I started having the conversation with Tony Khan and then I started to decipher that he really didn't want that, um, which is still confusing to me until I sat down this week and I really started replaying our relationship over the years and how everything has kind of played out. And, and I think, you know, we met in the sixth grade. Yeah, you guys have known each other like your whole like lives. 40 years. Yeah. And so I, I rewind back to that Princess Elizabeth Public School, right? And he's the new kid, just moved to town from Grand Valley and he wouldn't come into the school. So the teachers wanted to, to coax him into the school and they sent me out to talk him in. And from there, we discovered we love wrestling. And then that was it. That was, it was now solidified. We are now best friends. <laughs> so it's, it's high school, it's college. But I think to instances, like for instance, the Toronto Star ran a wrestling column every weekend, right? Yeah. One weekend it said, okay, write in an essay, winning essay gets free wrestling training from Sully's Gym, Sweet Daddy Seeky, Ron Hutchison down in Parkdale. So we both made the agreement, okay, we're both gonna write, it, write into this essay contest, may the best man win. Well, I wrote in, and he didn't. Fast forward about a year later, and I was giving him the confidence to go and start his training. Fast forward a little further, I get the dream gig. And for six months, whoever had an ear, I told them, my partner, he's great. You got to see this guy. Now, that, that's a... You don't do that you a don't lot. You don't do that. Don't do that a lot. You just don't do that, especially as a new guy coming in. Sure. But I just, I've always believed in him. I truly believe he's the most underrated wrestler in the history of this industry. I truly, truly believe that. But for whatever reason, over the years, it's always been Adam and Jay or E and C. And that's, that's not by my design. I never, never wanted that. Yeah. Um, but it's, it's stuck with him. And I feel like that's a cancer that he's let fester and cloud his decision making and I, I you know he said that I had a rocket strapped to my back and that minimizes the work that I've put into this sure this is all I ever wanted to do this is all he ever wanted to do but part of me feels like he'd still be working an IT job in southern Ontario wondering what if if I wasn't the one going out on the limb to take the chances yeah and open doors for him. And I hate to have to think that way, but when I sat down with it this week, I can't come to any other conclusion as to why he's acting the way he's acting. It's so crazy to imagine. I mean, you just rattled off all those different instances, but here you guys are so many more years later. I mean, you mentioned you guys have been friends for 40 years. To have the careers that you've had, I mean, the fame, the fortune, the championships, all of these things, but the common thread is still this jealousy, this competition. Are you surprised that this is a thing that still continues to bubble up to the surface? I mean, at this stage in our lives, yeah. I'm the godfather to his daughter. He's the godfather to my daughter. It's like, why at this stage are we still doing this? Yeah. Why does this need to keep repeating? And, and, and here's what I know is going to happen. You know, he's riding high right now. He came here first, I get it. I never meant to take away any spotlight. I don't want to take his TNT title. I don't want to do any of those things. I know he's going to come crash into the ground. So if you don't want any of those things, you don't want that TNT title, you don't want that spotlight, what is it that you want at this point in your career? I'm not going to fight him. I'm not going to. I don't want his TNT championship. What that means for me, I don't, this isn't the, the best answer, but I, I don't know. One thing I do know is eventually, eventually Nick Wayne and Luchasaurus are gonna leave him high and dry. And when he hits the ground, I'll be the one to pick him up.